Hello there, Cancer, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you guys are doing well out there. So, Cancer, let's go ahead and find out what do you need to know right now about your current situation, okay? For Cancer. Oh, good goodness. Expect a miracle. And some of you Cancers, be willing to take a look at things right now, you know, in all aspects of your life and decide what you really need to take on and what you don't need to take on, okay? But really, expect a miracle. Oh my goodness. Have faith. Your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Also, enjoy this time right now. A lot of you Cancers, something is awakening with inside of you here. So explore what is awakening within you, okay? And have this sense of self-discovery, self-awareness, because what's happening is you guys are experiencing divinity within yourself and spirit wants you to really honor and appreciate your divine self here okay so some of you guys be willing to dance do self-care and really appreciate how beautiful and wonderful you are cancer no matter what you've gone through or what you even think about yourself because hopefully it is positive okay and you are becoming increasingly sensitive so cancers if you guys have been feeling a little bit like you've been wanting to avoid people or situations, <clears throat> well, listen to that because, you know, your intuition and your sensitivity is telling you something. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals um, because there is something about you guys um, going through some type of uh, transition, purification process, and... I feel a lot of you cancers are getting rid of old things that don't really resonate with you anyway. So um, honor what the, what your um, instincts and your intuition and the body, or excuse me, and the wisdom of what your body is telling you, especially if some of you cancers find yourself getting drained being by certain people or situations, that's your cue, um, you know, to, to step away from that. Okay. What else for cancer? getting earth energy coming through cancer oh my goodness in the hedge yeah earth energy here so um more about self-respect self-care you know create healthy strong boundaries where we need to some of you um cancers um you know let others help you or start delegating especially if you feel like you're taking on too much and it wears you down um i, I feel that a lot of you cancers need to just kind of look at every aspect in your life and see what you really need to take on, what you need to say no to or say yes to, right? Uh, because you are becoming sensitive and you're getting ready to receive some type of divine blessing, some type of miracle here, okay? So protect your energy, okay? And have fun, take care of yourself. Something beautiful is really um, coming through here with you, Cancer. What else? Fertility, wow. Some of you cancers, okay. Yeah, this is gonna be, okay. I see a lot uh, coming through here for a lot of you cancers. I feel a lot of you are, um, you're gonna be having something going on here with yourself um, that is going to be quite abundant and uh, very creative. Something creative is going on here with you too. So open yourself up to new conditions, new ideas, being inspired by new things. I feel a lot of you too, Cancers, especially the females out there, you know, we do have um, fertility. So maybe for some of you guys, um, when it comes to maybe family planning or something future with family, children, you know, expect the best for yourself, okay? But I do see a lot of you Cancers, um, you know, there's just this high uh, attraction happening right now. So. The more that you are in tune with your inner goddess, a goddess, <laughs> inner goddess, the more um, fertile things are for you. What a rich uh, life inside and out, okay? Follow your heart in a situation too, especially when it comes to your own sensitivities here. 
um, and what feels right for you, what gives you guys fire, passion, joy. Follow your heart in a situation, okay, Cancer? Because I feel a lot of you guys are going to have to listen uh, to what your heart is telling you here when it comes to your even protecting your own energy um, and what is worth protecting, okay? Let's see here. I'm getting water sign coming through as well. I'm really getting like empress energy, <clears throat> emperor, empress energy, um, cancer. Open yourself up to receiving, okay? I, I would say re for a lot of you, cancer, something's happening here with you guys, um, you know, receiving compliments, gifts. Um, I feel that there's this high power of attraction going on here with that inner goddess. Uh, so allow yourself to just kind of uh, live wild and free here, okay? What else? Energy healing. And yes, clear <laughs> cancer. Yeah, a lot of you guys uh, take time out right now to really feel the power of the divine and within yourself here, awakening this di um, divine energy. And a lot of you have the ability to do energy healing. I mean, look at this confirmation. Yes. Okay. Um, and also this, I wanted to show this to you too. Clear and shield your energy. Okay. Yes, you can do it with energy healing, intention, prayer, whatever you guys got to do. And you may find, well, not you may, you know, something's happening here with you guys. So, you know, be sure to do something on a consistent basis that helps clear and shield your energy. Okay, we even have this hedge. Okay, we're creating some type of boundary here. Border. What else for uh, cancer? So Cancer, this is a general reading. So if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs, or feel free to check out past messages as well. Those are all timeless. And I'm not sure, did I already say that? I don't know. Sorry, Cancer, if I repeated myself. But anyhow, let's see what else you guys need to know. Mmm, wow. Okay, Cancer, wow. You guys, please do not, okay. Okay. Yeah, you guys have gone through a tremendous amount of challenges. Um, we have this energy healing card here. So we do have a healer here. A lot of you, yes, the experiences that you're presently going through are an initiation into filling, fulfilling your purpose as a healer. So something that you do is very healing, okay? So <clears throat> uh, there's healing in all kinds of things that we do, but... I feel a lot of you need not to question your abilities and again, why you guys are, you know, feeling what you're feeling. Okay. Pay attention to, um, you know, your energy levels as well, cancer. Okay. Um, it's going to be a fluc fluctuating here and, you know, stay away from things that really drain you or it can take away from your energy. Okay. What else? persistence retreat into nature because you guys are a teacher so you are gonna have to be really persistent with being determined um, for a lot of you guys with creating strong boundaries for yourself being able to say no when you need to say no um, playing a different role for some of you guys okay so spirit is saying stay persistent here you know the experiences that you're presently going through Remind yourself, no matter how challenging it is, it is helping you guys and is part of an initiation of fulfilling your purpose as a healer. I'm getting fire sign energy coming through. What else for cancer? <clears throat> also cancer, retreat out into nature. We tap, you know, I talked about that just a little bit here, um, especially when it comes to your own energies. Okay. Not surprised, not surprised, not surprised, not surprised. <clears throat> so you guys, a lot of you cancers are really going to come into, oh, I mean, this is, yeah, you, you're, you're awakening to the uh, uh, cancers. You guys have done an incredible amount of work here. So I want to say congratulations. You've done a lot of um, healing. You've done a lot of integrating uh, shadow and light side, masculine, feminine 
energies and a lot of you cancers know this in your heart that there is something strong when it comes to a strong bond or a union here okay so i feel a lot of you cancers especially the ones that are um you know uh, <clears throat> seeking some type of sacred soulmate here well we do we have a twin flame so you know only expect the best here when it comes to honoring the divine self within you and seeing it in another here okay so we are mirroring each other here which can be a beautiful thing so yeah a lot of you cancers are preparing and getting ready for a major type of union okay because it's very significant and tied in here with your uh, spiritual purpose here um, your higher calling and with spirit okay so you're going to be getting ready to really fall in love with yourself first cancer so make sure that you are falling in love with yourself and making room for something and someone new for some of you guys some type of situation so we've had a lot of events play play a part in um transitioning changing um getting rid of toxic things or old things or people that could take away from you and your purpose here as a healer as a teacher as a guide and towards a union here that is very divine natural okay and you're ready for this so your heart is connected to your twin flame okay so this is a, a, a this is always going to be with you here. So follow your heart in a situation, okay? And don't give up, especially when it comes to learning, growing your abilities to heal and inspire, to create, to love and honor yourself. What else for cancer? drink more water yeah look it landed on energy healing yeah it's going to be really important and maybe some of you guys just need to be reminded right to take um more uh, better care of yourself drink more uh, water stay hydrated okay especially if you guys are feeling tired or getting headaches or just whatever but it is going to be important for you guys to be fluid right now because there's a lot of energies that are running through you okay from the divine and yeah, powerful, powerful initiating energies as well. So a lot of you cancers, you know, uh, for the ones that you know that you, you know, you're, you're, you're a healer, you've been doing this. Well, this is an only an enhancement. Okay. Enhancing these abilities and, and powers. What else? <clears throat> So take charge of a situation. So some of you guys really need to clear out something in your life. Start delegating, start clearing, start simplifying, start saying no to things or yes to things, whatever you guys got to do, you know, taking control of your health, your energy, retreating out into nature, study, learn, grow. Okay. Spirit's got your back here. Take charge of the situation. Know your power. What else? Oh, crystals. Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of you cancers, <laughs> you know, you can use crystals to amplify, to heal. I mean, connect with crystals because a lot of you guys, you do, you have this real strong connection with crystals. So some of you guys, you might be wanting to do some crystal work or just do it to amplify energies or to learn more, um, healing. Okay. Manifesting, whatever this is, you're, you know, get out into nature somehow and really connect with earth energies. It's going to be very important right now for you, Cancer. Okay. Get some fresh air if you can, as much as possible. What else? <clears throat> Health and healing. Priorities is right now is you. <laughs> yeah. Health and healing. Okay. And also trust your abilities when it comes to, you know, uh, any field uh, or work or study or even your own um, abilities to heal and have full healing have confidence that this this is happening for you okay so focus on health and healing love yourself as much as possible because you guys have a, a very strong um, situation when it comes to you know you seeing another <laughs> you know you guys both are 
uh, mirroring each other and really experiencing a very divine partnership here. Okay, what else? Okay, so you guys are, <laughs> you guys work your magic. My goodness, work your magic. Use your crystals, whatever you guys are doing here. Okay, I'm seeing hands. Okay, look at the hands. Look at your hands. <laughs> you don't think I know, Cancer. You're just exact. I mean, yes. <laughs> I feel like we come from the same thread here. Same fabric here, Cancer. Okay, father, husband, brother, son, mother, wife, sister, daughter. Okay. Some of you cancers, there is a strong, you know, this is a very strong influence at play. So I would say for any of you cancers right now that, you know, if there's any healing that needs to be done with any type of father, husband, brother, son, boyfriend, you know, energies, um, you know, take care of it right now. Okay. But a lot of you guys have done this. So I just get the emperor and empress energy here. Um, yeah, it's like it's all coming together. It's all coming together. There's something very strong. Um, you know, I, uh, wow. It, yeah, I feel a lot of you may, Cancers may even have Scorpio placements in your chart. You may resonate with Scorpio's reading in this series. But, you know, take this if it resonates. But this is what I'm getting is a lot of you can't, yeah, a lot of you Cancers experience with your twin flame lifetimes, okay? If you believe in that past lives here, okay? different roles you've been playing and now it's time to return home that's that sense so trust this situation when it comes to some type of good family home life some type of good divine connection and full healing when it comes to the people in our lives right a family uh, strong influences work your magic though my goodness something's happening here <laughs> Uh, what else it's almost like see it's like work your magic and mother the the, the uh, great father the great mother is going to nurture and give birth to this uh, and gift this um you know manifestation to you here divinity okay um hmm. <sighs> cancer you guys really um Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very divine you know that cancer and you do hold divine energies start creating some devotion time some consistency or, or something here to stay calm especially for a lot of you cancers going through some changes or challenges or conflicts um, just know that you guys really do hold that sacred divinity within yourself here and you know look at this appreciating your divinity divinity so for a lot of you cancers you know it's only a matter of time before it shows up in your reality here right seeing a divine in another kissing the divine in another so yeah spend some time you know out in nature if you can <laughs> and create some time of devotion here Create that space for you and the divine. It's going to be very important. This is why spirit is saying, please protect your energy. Okay. You have something sacred and beautiful. So follow your heart in a situation. Some of you, you've, you went through some tremendous changes with, um, you know, old soulmates, um, having to really, you know, feel like you've gone through death and rebirth over and over and over again, or you've had to really grow really fast. And feel, for some of you guys, a lot of you cancers may feel like you've had to outgrow or you've outgrown people um, and situations. And it's a little bit of a battle because, you know, we've got this sense of devotion and loyalty within ourselves here. But um, this is all part of your purpose. OK, spirit has a grand plan for you. And I would go with spirit's plan. What else? Peace offering. So you guys can do it. There may be something here for some of you cancers with the ability to, you know, calm a situation or bring forgiveness to a situation or bring some type of peace. Okay. But some of you cancers, what I'm getting to is you need to delegate or do something here, like uh, just take charge of a situation so that you guys can have peace in your mind, your heart. There's nothing that you have to 
you know, get or uh, get from someone either. But I feel a lot of you, um, you're doing things right now or being guided to make decisions, clear your mind, or do things that bring you guys a sense of peace here and taking action towards that. Some of you um, cancers, you, you may get an apology too, okay, from someone significant because I do see this something healing here when it comes to significant people and relationships in your life. What else for cancer? You're being, oh my goodness, cancer. I mean, spirit, spirit, spirit is, yeah, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> You're being called upon to provide leadership, so trust that you're capable of doing so, Doing so, okay? Now, if something went crazy for some of you Cancers, because I feel like there might have been a tower moment or some type of event here, something happened here, um, and it's okay, you know, don't worry. You know, just some of you just need to know that something was out of balance, okay? And you're just figuring things out. The polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance, so... Take action and, and do what you guys can do right now, right? Taking charge of, charge of the situation to do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium, right? Bringing yourself peace. So do whatever you guys got to do right now to balance physical and spiritual pursuits. Okay, let's see. What else for cancer? This one wants to show itself. Focus upon your strengths, cancer. What else? yoga so some of you guys are being called for a yoga here maybe some of you guys are a yoga teacher or you want to be an instructor for in the health field or something like that uh, practice yoga practice you know um, really being present in the body maybe just stretching if you don't know yoga um, and stay flexible here okay take care of your health right and focus upon your strength i feel a lot of you guys would do really well with yoga because not only is it going to make you guys feel physically strong, but spiritually strong at the same time. So, yeah, and a lot of you, you know, you, you, there's something ancient awakening here within you as well. What's this? Meditate. Not surprise. <laughs> Meditate consistently. Some type of devotion time, healing time, inspiration time, quiet time, peace time saying no to others, right? Because here we go. The polarities of your spiritual and physical pursuits are out of balance. So just do whatever you guys got to do right now to get it back into equilibrium. What else for cancer? <clears throat> okay. Remain, oh my goodness, yeah, remain vigilant about the current situation, okay? Pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. So pay attention, okay? Spirit is, spirit angels, God, Jesus is giving you guys so, signs and omens if you guys are asking. And look, we even have that at the beginning here, right? Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. They're de okay, you're getting signs and omens here, so you can use that. Uh, to help dictate your choices, okay, Cancer? So you guys can feel powerful. What else? Cancer, you guys got, you guys are gonna have some real major spiritual acceleration and luck here. Oh, it's like the night woman is gonna work her magic to make sure that your dreams, your desires, something comes to fruition here. Some of you cancers, you may feel like you've had, you've lost a lot of things in your life or you've had to lose a lot or everything. Whatever this sense of loss is or whatever, it, whatever this is, just hear me out. Spirit is saying you guys are more than capable of creating anything out of nothing. That's how powerful you are. That's how divinely loved you are. Where is that divinity card? Okay. You know what I'm saying. You guys are incredibly loved. So pay attention to your dreams, stay focused right now, and expect really good fortunate uh, events to start playing out for you to help you guys with a purpose, desire here. Stay strong. Something new is entering into your life, Cancer. What else? 
some of you guys are up at night a lot too with that night woman. Um, and also face your problems head on. See this, that thing about taking charge and you can do it, you know, wherever Archangel Michael was, you know, you can do it. So face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious. So right now, this isn't the time to back down, especially when we are faced with obstacles, decisions, or challenges, right? Some of you guys remember, pay attention to signs and omens to help dictate your choices, but uh, spirit, don't procrastinate on making decisions or facing challenges. You guys are going to do this and you're gonna get paid big time for taking this on. What else for cancer? So find the blessing in your current situation. Yeah, I feel a lot of you cancer had, had something happen here. And yeah, you know, just change your perspective on it right now. Find the blessing in your current situation, okay? And for a lot of you guys, it might have wakened you, you know, awakened you up to, you know, an imbalance here that we just need to get back into balance, right? To find our own equilibrium, to find out how much, we want to pursue things and when do we need to back off? When do we need to give more time to spiritual pursuits? When do we need to give more time to physical pursuits, etc., etc.? What else? It's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on others. So a lot of you cancers, if you, you're really meant to discover something on your own. So don't be scared. It's part of the divine plan something for you to experience here. So a lot of you uh, cancers, if you're finding yourself by yourself or maybe alone or just having to take charge of, a, of something by yourself, you're meant to, you're definitely meant to. So don't be afraid of what has been brought before you, okay? Don't, don't give in to disappointments either, okay? Cancer, find the blessing in your current situation. And I feel some of you cancers, actually a lot of you cancers may resonate with the last SOS reading someone's oracle messages as well. Trust in your abilities too here. And look at this, we got the cat striking out on its own, but oh my goodness, because you were willing to do something out on your own, woo, look at what you become here, tiger, okay? <laughs> That's no joke. That's power. That's strength. That's beauty. It's grace. What else? There's something. Oh gosh, there's another. <laughs> there's more information about something out of balance in your life. You guys have to take, you guys have to do whatever you need to do to correct it now. Don't delay. Don't delay, correct it, whatever it is. Seek peace, seek balance, seek healing, seek forgiveness, whatever you guys gotta do, okay? There's something tremendous happening with you, your life, your life purpose here, and with a significant soulmate for a lot of you guys. So trust what's happening here. Do whatever you guys gotta do to correct something. What else? Oh, detach from drama. Ah, yeah, okay. I don't know what it is. People, whatever. Maybe it's stuff you're watching. I don't know. Or into. Maybe just detach from it. Unplug from things. Okay? Especially if a lot of you guys are seeing a lot of drama on social media. Detach from it. <laughs> Maybe there's something going on with family. I don't know. People. You know? This is time to take charge of a situation. Be in your power and just say no. Okay? Because this is like, it, a lot of you guys, this just drains you, takes away from you, okay? And there's a better situation that spirit wants you to invest your time and your energy into. What else? <clears throat> oh my gosh, the emperor. Oh, yeah. Okay. Take charge of the situation. Uh, a lot of you, um, look at that. That went around, oh, it landed right on that remain vigilant. You can see the emperor. Ooh. Yeah, you guys really belong um, 
in a special place, okay? So you do need to remain vigilant about a current situation. Pay attention to signs and omens. A lot of you, don't be afraid to restructure, organize, get things under control, okay? There may be a father uh, influence here or some strong masculine influence at play, but we do have the divine masculine, divine feminine energy here. So we've got the counterpart. <laughs> And look, we even have, okay, this is like Empress energy here, inner goddess, okay? So we've got the counterpart here. It just is, it just fits. It's just right here, okay? So I feel a lot of you uh, cancers, you know, you need not question your abilities, especially when it, co it comes to being called upon leadership. What else? <laughs> okay, seven of pentacles. Um have patience, right? Nurture something. Nurture the things that are giving to you right now. We even have this card of fertility. So some of you guys, it's only a matter of time before you get this like family home life situation that you've always wanted or you want. Okay. But spirit is saying, have patience with yourself in a situation here. Something is bearing fruit for a lot of you guys, but it may take some consistency and persistence, right? So be willing to do that. It's going to be worth it. So make the effort, especially when it comes to things that are, um, you know, that you're establishing, that's building. Let's get a little bit more with the seven of pentacles for you, Capricorn. Wow. Oh, I was calling you guys Capricorn. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Let's get a little bit more for uh, cancer with the seven of pentacles. Some of you guys might be waiting for some type of results too. And, and some of you guys, um, you know, don't feel bad if you feel like you have to start over either. Okay. You're going to be gifted with more than enough. So yeah, I feel this is all about you guys staying consistent, nurturing a situation. I mean, we even have mother energy here, mother earth. A lot of you really are like just this guardian of the earth here in some facet, some form here, you know, going back to your abilities as a healer, teacher, uh, someone, right? Some of you guys being called upon to help with environmentalism. Okay. So yeah, this is the, the seven of pentacles is actually a, a gardening type of card out in the nature. So labor card here. Mm. Now that I said labor, it's almost what it seems like. It's like you guys have been in labor for a long time for something here. So just have patience. It's going to happen for you. Yeah, and I feel a lot for a lot of you cancers that have already been doing your work here. You need to know you are creating something that is long lasting here with that seven of pentacles. What else? go outside. Oh, cancer. See, I told you, told you, you have been, you've been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. Okay. Maybe just take a, you know, take breaks, you know, put a reminder on your phone or watch or whatever you use, you know, set it for every few hours that you, so may, so that you go, you do go outside and get some fresh air. What else? But I do see something for gardening for some of you guys. <clears throat> Secrecy. So I feel a lot of you um, cancers need to honor some type of secrets that I feel someone has given to you, but also for you guys to feel that your secrets are safe as well, that you can really trust the situation, okay? I feel a lot of you cancers, there's something that spirit wants you guys to keep quiet though about, but let's get a little bit more with the secrecy here. Because there could have been something for some of you guys, maybe in the past with secrecy that was a, a, a challenge. But let's see. I want a little bit more with the secrecy for cancer. Yeah, it's like a little secret garden. Look at that little secret garden. Something's going on here with you guys and your work or your path here. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, uh, keep things to yourself. I do feel a lot of you guys keep things to yourself right now. You you, you have a, a you have some type of innate and knowing about something and what's good for you. Okay, especially if you guys are feeling challenged by others, take a step back, 
keep things to yourself and just um, just know that you guys are you know doing things right now that are challenging but it is bringing you guys into a real sacred path here okay so a lot of you avoid a situation right now or keep things to yourself or ignore people or you know that can be very um, negative right okay let's see what else Now, some of you guys, why do I get for some of you cancers, like you guys have something under your, your like you got something here. So it's like, keep it a secret, like some type of tool, wisdom uh, to help you guys. It's like your magical defense situation when you need it. Union. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you guys are going to have a strong union here. So there's a significant thing about you guys having a, a very spiritual union. You know, I do feel some of you guys actually would resonate with Virgo's reading in this series as well. So maybe some of you guys have Virgo placements in your chart. Um, yeah, some of you, you know, trust so, a lot. For a lot of you cancers here, okay, you need to trust in some type of coming together with another a beautiful bond, a sacred bond, but especially coming into union with your higher self and spirit here, okay? This is why it's really important, first of all, to make sure you're spending some quality time with yourself, realizing and seeing your own divinity, because this is going to be really important here, <laughs> and it'll be really worth it. Okay, something wants to come out here with this union card. Let's get a little bit more with this union. Give me a little bit more, more with the union. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I just get something, a real strong sense of you guys committing to a higher purpose, higher self, to, a, you know, a path that is uh, <clears throat> definitely your passion and your purpose. But yeah, look at this, Ace of Wands. Oh, you guys are going to have some type of opportunity here, uh, you know, Twin Flame, your passion ignites here, so something is going to ignite and grow and be very fertile in your life, uh, Cancer, okay? So Spirit is showing you the way here. There's some type of opportunity for you guys. So Spirit wants you guys to first trust your partnership with Spirit and stay open to these opportunities and what's leading the way here, okay? It's like grab that staff and continue walking and be strong. What else? Some of you guys are going to get some type of gift. Some, I, It's like some type of spiritual gift. So yeah, pay attention and be open to that. It's like, it's like a, like a marker, a milestone for you of where you, you have, um, you know, where you're at right now and where you're going. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, got a little thing in my throat. Okay. What else for cancer? So what was interesting, Cancer, was I had to pause the video because uh, I had something in my throat. And it was paused at 3838. <laughs> and I'm just thinking, 3 plus 8 is 11. 3 plus 8 is 11. 11, 11. Twin flame kind of number here. But also a whole new uh, portal that's being opened for you. Okay. Yeah, purification. Look at that. Look at this. It's the same. It's White Terra. Is this White Terra too? <laughs> Look at White Terra is coming out twice here. So honor your sensitivities right now. It's telling you guys something. Okay. Listen to what, uh, you know, your body is telling you, what your intuition is telling you, what your energy is telling you. And yeah, things have been purified, right? So that we can bring new, clear, pure, pure inspiration, pure passion peer creation. 
Now, some of you cancers, there's a strong, uh, so the ones, you know, that are still fertile, you know, there's a high probability here of you creating other little humans if you're not careful and if you don't want to, just putting that out there, okay? When the opportunity arises for some of you guys. Okay, what else? <clears throat> past life, the situation involves your past life memories. Yeah, because you guys are a medicine woman, medicine man. Oh my gosh. Cancer, you guys see how strong this is coming out about how you guys really are holding the sacred divine energy. Um, there's this, you know, and I talked about something ancient awakening within you, uh, ancient wisdom, whatever, past life. Yes. Okay. You are a channel for divine healing power. How many times do we have to say this? So it's a beautiful thing. Okay. Honor this, be proud of it as well and continue to learn more about yourself and what you can do and offer, but always put yourself first, always take care of yourself first, your energy first, heal yourself first, right? Love yourself. Okay, what else? All right, that's it for those. So let's find out how spirit is helping you, Cancer. <clears throat> Some of you Cancers might find a whole new like um, career path, a whole new path for yourself here, okay? When it comes to your gifts, your abilities. How is spirit helping Cancer? Oh, yes, waking up to your purpose, definitely hearing your purpose, your calling, and also making decisions, final decisions in one's life, rising up to something new, something great, something grand, okay, and having a real sense of peace with the past and moving forward. But yeah, a lot of you cancers are awakening to something really powerful within you. And man, are we talking about some past life memories and past lives here? Wow, wow, wow. The judgment card. Spirit's helping you guys with your past life memories, but to help it in a way that it doesn't hold you back in the past, that it moves you forward into the now and the future, right? With wisdom, grace, wholeness, feeling complete, feeling alive, feeling, you know, feeling that divine energy within you that's waking up. So I see a lot of you cancers rising up and doing something and being something and someone very powerful. Okay. Um, wow. Very powerful energy that you guys got going on. This isn't, uh, this isn't to be taken lightly. You have a strong purpose. Listen to me. You have a strong purpose, cancer. Don't get discouraged. Keep moving forward with your gifts, your abilities, the things that feel right to you. Okay. Love and light. Take care.